Hello, Les from Thailand here. And today's video is a story. I'm going to tell a story. And I'd like for you to mention in the comments whether you think it was a good story or a bad story or just one of them stories. It's a story that I've lived when I first came to Thailand. Um, I came to Thailand to live full time eight years ago. And I was with this girl that I was living with and she lived up in Karat um, but her family were sort of the poorest of the poor they collected plastic bottles and bottles from from people's bins and through where uh, people just discarded their rubbish they picked up the rubbish and recycled it if you like but their living accommodation was very 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 poor they lived in a shed and every time the, the rains came, all the possessions got flooded, so the poorest of the poor. And my girlfriend at the time was embarrassed if we went home, and we obviously we couldn't stay at her parents' house because of the living conditions that they lived in. But we stayed in a hotel. So we went up one time when it was rainy season, and all their possessions, all the house was flooded. So I paid 3,000 baht to have a load of soil delivered and to lift the whole house above the water plane. So if it ever flood at least their shack as they lived in was above the water so that at least they had somewhere dry to sleep and live in during the rainy season. So that was one of the first things that I did with the girl that I was living with. She never asked for it. I offered to pay for it because of the conditions that they were living in. I thought that I could do a little bit and a little bit, 3,000 baht at the time was up 60 pounds. 60 pounds improved their lifestyle. Now, was that a good thing or was that a bad thing? I'll leave you to decide that. But a little bit later on, maybe it's four or five months afterwards, we visited them again. Like I said, he used to go around collecting bottles from the rubbish bins and one thing or another. He used to drive around with a Samlor and a motorbike. It, the motorbike was an old Suzuki motorbike held together by a reed bar and a wing and a prayer. It really, really was on its last legs. And one day I seen her dad going out on a push bike, collecting the bottles. He came back with a great big plastic bag full of plastic bottles. And I asked my girlfriend at the time, why is he going out on a push bike? Why, why isn't he going out on a motorbike? And she said, unfortunately, the motorbike it's finished, it's kaput, it's broken down, it can't be repaired. So that's the only other thing that he had was a push bike. So me being thinking, okay, this guy, a very proud guy, never begged. He always worked for himself, collecting the bottles, and he'd done this for years and years and years. So how can I improve this man's life? So I offered to buy a brand new motorbike and sidecar. Now be warned, this is something that you think you're doing good, but it can work out bad. My good idea, my thoughts on this lot, I'll buy him a brand new motorbike and sidecar, so he has no worries for the next five years. No more worries that the bike is going to break down. It's guaranteed for, I think, three years guarantee on the motor. So trouble free, trouble free for him for going around. He'll, the motorbike will never ever let him down. So everybody cried. We went to the motorbike shop. I ordered this new motorbike and sidecar which he picked up the following day. The whole family went down in the truck to go and collect it. He was straight to the monks and the monks blessed it and within an hour of him buying it or within an hour of me buying it should I say, he was out collecting bottles. Everybody was happy, everybody was smiling. He had a, a massive grin on his face because he was driving around on this brand new motorbike. It was like a gift, gift from Buddha, because it changed his life. No more did he have to rely on an old motorbike. So a week after we got home, I was asking my girlfriend at the time, how's everything going with your dad and the new motorbike? And she said, it's, it's not going very well. She said, people now have stopped giving him bottles where he used to have a regular 
collection for people giving him bottles and plastic. They've stopped giving him the bottles and the plastic because they looked upon him on this brand new motorbike, brand new sidecar. He must be making a lot of money. So there must be other people more deserving than him to give the bottles and the plastic to. So they've stopped giving him it. So now he's finding it harder. Many people in his village thought, yes, again, he must be making a lot of money because he's got a brand new motorbike and sidecar. So sad, sad to hear that. So what he actually did, he went and bought an old motorbike and he'd attached that to his old sidecar and he went out back collecting plastic bottles with his old motorbike and sidecar and people started giving him plastic bottles again because he had an old motorbike and an old sidecar so now he keeps the motorbike and the sidecar for best when he goes out on Sundays when he goes to see the other people's families so I thought I was doing good but in fact I did more harm than good by giving him this motorbike and the perception that the other Thai people had that he must be making a lot of money now because of this motorbike and sidecar. So was that a good or a bad story? I think it was a good story because at the end of the day he still had a reliable motorbike and sidecar. So even if his old motorbike breaks down again, he's got the backup that he can go out and collect things with. So that's just a little story on whether you're thinking you're going to do good or bad in somebody's lifestyle. Over here you've got to learn to think differently. Thai people, Thai people think totally different to how we think. So be good to people. If you can lend a helping hand, please do. But also take note and care that by your actions of helping other people you don't actually do any harm or any, anything bad against how other people were, may feel against that. So from Les, living in Thailand, until the next time, bye for now.